Now, I never thought that this this will take such a long time. So it's almost like one and a half hours. So this is the third part. Hopefully, we can finish this in another half an hour. Now, the final part, which is the uh, I think I, I went through the settings just now in the first video. So, okay, dungeons. So there are just so many dungeons here. All right. Okay, the daily dungeon, this one, this one is where you get your stone. So the whole idea with this dungeon is you want to reach the you want to reach the hard mode. I think there's a level cap for it or a CP cap. I think you can only ac uh, access it probably at level 60 or something like that. And also it's it's best like when you hit the very hard mode, when you're able to do the very hard mode, then you then you start to reset the dungeon because this one gives you like as you can see like this one gives you three this one gives you four so it doesn't um yeah it's, it's not really like cost cost effective so once you're able to hit very hard then you try to reset it um you try to reset it so they are every day you can able to reset it for 100 um if you use the option there's 100 uh that it's, it's 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 quite worth it. Uh, I mean I mean the for the hundred red gems is so. Then the the second time when you reset it, then it costs you two hundred. Now initially, I will only recommend you to reset um your uh, weapon upgrade stones and this one. So this will be the two main one that you want to reset, sir. Huh? And also your um uh, like the priority will be this one first. Set, oh no, sorry. This one will always be the. The most priority because you are able to choose uh any of the three upgrade stones then second will be your weapon then the third one will be your armor all right so this will be the three three main priority until you max out all your rare uh, weapon and your armor okay so daily dungeon is, is is quite good uh you you want to go to hard or very hard as soon as possible all right then you need to we want you want to reset your daily dungeon tower insolence tower insolence what it gives is it gives you the rune so this is what it gives so uh yeah i think you just want to do it uh as as comfortable as possible every five levels you encounter uh you en you encounter something really hard so so you so usually it's quite common for you to start at five ten and things like that so you will you get like uh, every day you get like free runes and things like that so uh you just do it according to your pace huh? there's uh there's it's it's not like if, if even if you lag behind it's it's you won't lose out that much huh? so just just do it according to your pace and usually uh at a later stage what you want to do is you want to uh do it and also you will need to uh have a uh, soul shots ready huh? so don't 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 spend too much resources on on this i mean so so short but so shots are, are are fine because when you hit like uh when you try to clear it i think past level 30 you you definitely need the the uh you definitely need to on, on so shots elite dungeon elite dungeon is um uh, every day you're able to go to elite dungeon and 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 finish the quest so so one of the for example one of the way for example like currently Elite Dungeon is where you can get, uh, you can try to finish the quest. Uh. So, if let's say you finish the quest, for example, like this one, I just click on the button here, then it automatically, automatically, it just, it just goes, go there. So, every day all the dungeon resets. So that means that you can, you can clear all the dungeon one time every day. It's quite tedious though. So, which is why, uh, uh, for Elite Dungeon, I would, uh, finishing the quest will gives you a lot of exp. Uh, so. And, and and probably you you want to do it when as 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 you try to go as, as you try to increase your exp uh to a to the stage that we can you can do equipment dungeon and also you can do uh, you can do the what um, daily dungeons huh? so then you so what you just take the quest so the quest is the uh, to kill creators but creators is not in at this moment so we will just leave the dungeon yeah so every day six or six or um if you can clear every day one of these quests so it's, as you can see like every time when you clear a quest here 
uh, you will get like 3,000 in gold and 10,000 in EXP and also you have a for every 5 dungeons that you clear you, you have a reward so yeah so elite dungeons is uh, but this one is the last option like when you are really really free then only you then uh, then you only do it then the next will be extraction dungeon okay uh, sorry another thing that I can't that I that I forgot to, to, to tell you will be okay let's let's say if you go to this sorry now Elite, elite dungeon is very important it's it's very important so what you want to do is you want to find the mobs uh elite dungeon is a source where where you can get your uh your your, your equipment so that equipment in the sense that your your b equipment and also your c equipment and also you get a pob proof of bloods that you can donate to the clan because uh your clan your clan leader will ask you to donate stuff so then you will need to donate your um you will, and this is the best thing for you to donate because if you donate gold you you run out of gold so at least you, if you can donate fully then uh proof of blood then uh, then uh, then it's good now uh what what do i mean is okay if you can see like this uh please don't die so quickly yeah like like these mobs it it has the name inside the the right here evil of blood okay so you will basically when you do elite dungeon you want to do you want to kill mobs with elite, uh, evil of blood and you want to kill mobs that have evil of blood and also drop cost at the same time so for example for elven ruin one this uh, this is the mob that you want to start out with so this mob what it does is it drops pob it gives you star stone and it gives you monster core and also it, it drops you loot so yeah so this so usually for elite dungeon the first choice that you want to to hit is it's it's like mob like this let me let me try to show you because this will be quite important because if you if you hit the wrong mob you you basically you lose out quite a lot especially during uh during hot time so for elite dungeon 2 the mob will stay here it's quite far Okay, let's uh, while we are waiting let's just talk about other yeah it's it's a uh, it's a bit fast so um yeah elite dungeon is important you 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 don't really want to hit random mob but, and it's advisable for you to go in a group so make sure make sure you go in a group of five because then the drop weight will will increase and uh yeah and then so if you see like these are the normal mobs it doesn't have a evil of blood name on it so this these are the mob that doesn't drop the proof of blood and also uh, star stones basically you want mob that drops the both of those so that you can donate them to the clan and your leader will be happy you your clan will be strong and you will you have a good time now so as, as you can see like these are the evil of blood so so these are the areas so which is why it's so crowded because this these are the area that it, it drops a lot of things so always hunt for this type of mob all right for elite dungeon okay do not be like me when when it started because i only know know this like two to three days after the game starts extraction dungeon so extraction dungeon um what you want to do is you want to go and pick flowers all right um, so as you can see like these are the, your flower counts so smaller flowers and big flowers so for example like these big flowers small flowers when, when you pick you'll get one and if you pick uh, the bigger flower you, you'll get more so what happens is in extraction dungeon this is the only place that PvP is allowed so that means that you can you, you, you can kill uh, you, you can kill someone then and you don't receive penalty for it so that means that you can just kill 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 anyone here and you don't um you 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 won't have cha chaotic pointer so this is the area that pvp is possible and uh, i'm trying to show you uh but i haven't get the uh, any of the stuff when you kill one of this plant there's a chance for you to get a uh, elixir so which is very important so Elixir is a 
Alexa is uh yeah like this so randomly sometimes you will spawn a mandragora so once you kill it you have a elixir now the elixir that worth the most is attack followed by defense and hp and mp um among the flowers that you are currently let's say let's say and also very very important before you pick your flowers you will want to activate your blessing first the blessing is this mm. Hmm? What happened to my blessings? Yeah, this one is the blessings. Okay, so you will gain like six thousand extra exp. So which is which is really really good. So before before you pick you before you pick the flowers. So for example, like you can see, like every flowers that I pick, I have like three thousand something. So, if you have the the Einhasa blessing, it will you will get like extra like six thousand exp. All right. So, whenever you whenever it spawns a mandragora, make sure you kills it because it it gives you uh, exp. So, as for the flowers, you just try to uh, make it even. All right, and if it's even, then you can probably you can put more focus on purple herbs. I think. Purple herbs and purple herbs and defense herbs, they are they are they are quite good, and and you can um, you can craft something something in the in the <coughs> in the future from it. So as you can see, like my extraction count is fifteen at this moment. So five more herbs, then we are done. Okay, let me try to get these herbs really quickly so that I don't need to come back later. So these are the bigger herbs. So whenever you pick some of the um, whenever when I pick some of these herbs. You you get like two two uh one and one extra herbs uh. okay and also when during the gardens but you will never run out of herbs uh. I mean you have less herbs but you have very very little elixir and a lot of herbs uh. like like as you can see like as as you do the as you as you progress day by day you will you have like a lot tremendous amount of you have. Uh, yeah, you have a lot of herbs here, so but herbs can be binded to to create something. So, like red herbs, you can bind them to create HP potion. Blue herbs, MP potion. The yellow yellow herbs, you can make it into Einhasser blessing, and also the purple one can be made into soul shots. All right, dungeons. Okay, equipment dungeon. Equipment dungeon. Uh, it's very important so let's say if you go in okay you have four corners everyone takes a corner and because once you clear an equipment dungeon they will give you a extra weapon a, a weapon chest and also a, a varnish so it's quite important for you to upgrade your your your, your stuff so equipment dungeon uh the 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 higher tier of a dungeon that you go like the different like the toughness then it's better adina dungeon yeah, you try to uh when you do this dungeon, Adina dungeon, uh it's advisable for you to uh use soul shots. Because otherwise otherwise uh you might not be able to kill the dragon. So you need the extra damage. So um with the I mean once you kill the dragon you're able to get extra extra Adina. So it's uh it's uh, it's quite worth it. Experience dungeon, same thing. Uh when when you go into the experience dungeon dungeons there are four corners. So, uh, sorry, there are two corners that, that gives you the buff. I can't remember whether it's two or four because you usually I'll be at one of the corner. Then you just stand there and 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 just try to clear. Summoning dungeon it will open when you hit level fifty. So the whole idea is for you to protect what the the fine hump, the fat hump. I can I can't really pronounce that. So then it will give you to upgrade your pet. So in short, daily dungeon is the place that you get your upgrade stones. And enhance scroll, and enhance scroll. Tower of insolence is the place that you uh you get runes. Elite dungeon is a place that you get uh proof of blood and star stones. Extraction dungeon is the place that you get uh that you get the herbs, and also elixirs. Equipment dungeon is a place that you get uh extra weapon, and also varnishes. All right, it's quite important. Adina dungeon is a place that you get Adina. All right. Experience dungeon is a place that you get experience. 
I think if you are trying to slow down your level, okay, you can choose not to go to experience dungeon. You just run around and and and, and fail your Adina dungeon. It it's it's fine. Then summoning dungeon is what you get is your pet, your pet uh, advancement stone and also your pet summoning fragments. Wow, I'm tired. Yeah. You probably notice that like, there's just so so much function, so so many things in this dungeon. Now, arena, arena, you're able to get some loot. All right, rank one. Okay, if you finish rank one. Okay, the thing that I want to stress a lot is a lot of people don't really understand with this claim reward. What it means that once you hit a certain a certain rank and you're satisfied with the rank, that means it's the highest rank of the day. Then you click claim reward. You don't just simply click it. On the daily, uh, when in the in the morning or on or, or at any time, claim reward is when you hit the the highest rank and you claim the reward based on the based on the reward tier. Okay, so these are these are the uh, these are the rewards. Now, so you can see. Here, rank 1, rank 2, rank 3, rank 4, rank 5, up to rank 10, so up to rank 50, up to rank 100. So, you will you will, you will notice like, either if you are able to go into top 100, it doesn't matter, it's 80, 70 or something, you can claim 30. So, usually, um, top 1%, the difference is not much. Huh? So, but... For for me at this moment, like we, we, uh, and for me and my friends, we want to aim for rank one because like the the difference is so huge, because like rank one is like three hundred diamonds daily and rank four is like eighty diamonds only. So yeah, so then it's uh advisable for you at the early stage of the game that you spend uh thirty uh ten minimum ten ten gems, to uh that means that you have five you have five free. Uh, access to the arena then I will advise you to top up another 10 gems to, to make it 6 so every day hopefully you can finish either 6 or 7 arenas okay Fortress Siege Fortress Siege only starts I think one and a half month after the game launches and do not be like do not be like us because what happened previously is we thought that Fortress Siege will begin in the week in the same week and and, and we try to level up our clan hall to level 4 as, as soon as possible. No, it doesn't work that way. So Fortress War, it only happens one and a half months later. So initially when they launch, you have uh, you have 12 Fortress to, to beat on. Yeah. So keep that in mind because because initially, in, initially when the game started, what I thought is probably there is only one Fortress. But it's, there are actually 8 Fortress. Okay, 8 Great A Fortress and 4 S Fortress. Alright, so there's uh, you don't need to yeah, so so I think I think the great A for just I, I think pre-season I think there's only four I think. Yeah, but to total they they are minimum of eight fortress huh? Someone is there. Okay. Clans. Uh, Alright, clan. Alright, as we hit the clan now. Clan, so this is our clan. Alright, so this is where uh, some of the things that you need to know is uh, every day you need to press the check in button. So when you press the check in, then you, you can claim a reward and you need to donate max. Alright, you try to donate max. Uh, so if you're short on Adina, you can try not to uh, donate Adina. So you try to go uh, for proof and star stone. So what happened is if you are, if you are short on. Adina, you can help the clan by farming more proof of blood and star stone and donate to the clan maximum. So, so this is what you, you want to do. So you can check here the ranking of the clan. All right. You can check where's your where's, where's your ranking. Then, um, let's see the features here. Yeah, you can put out a clan notice, like here clan notice, so everyone will be able to see the to the the see the one. Uh, not much here here's your alliances so to who are your alliances and what are the hostile clans all right so your clan members will appear here so you can see what are the cp of them and also what are the levels and things like that then yeah donation is important like 
I think the one of the most important part is the clan shop. So uh, I would advise you to maybe at an early stage, you can... Elixir is always a sure buy. That means that you will want to buy this on a daily basis. You try to buy this. Currently, I buy Elixir. Uh, Soul Crystal, definitely a good buy. All right, when whenever possible. Enhancement Scroll, yep. Upgrade Stone. I think initially, you, you only have these two options. I think... So I will I will suggest you to buy this one, uh, Elixir Essence Selection, Soul Crystal, and also Fragment. So th these are the three that that I I, I feel is the best, the best thing for you to buy because you can't get any of those from from other places. Okay, you you can't really farm those. Now, friends, all right, friends. Every day you need to greet them one time, co then collect then collect money from them. So you you try to make sure that all your friends are active so that you you can you can collect a lot of friendship points. Yeah, currently it's eleven thousand. That's a lot. All right. And usually when uh, why you want to add someone into a friend, it will be something like so when you try to add them here, it can be you you can add them much quicker if 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 they are not in your clan. So yeah, so that's uh, that's that's why you want to add them to 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 friend. Then the next one will be trading post. Now trading post is something that I like a lot. So uh, you can see my previous video is okay. Initially, when the game starts, um, you have a lot of thing going on. I'll suggest you to to sell what are things that you should be selling. Okay, when the game start, there are a lot of things that are very 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 high in prices. Okay, you can. There are some of the if you monitor the things correctly, you're able to buy low and sell high. And some of the things that I would like to mention to you will be this. Hold on. Now, Enhancement Scroll will be at a slightly later stage. Um, enhancement Scroll and also web uh, and so Upgrade Stone, initially, they sell for crazy high price. You can sell at the maximum price. So if you get any tradable stuff, just sell them. Just, uh, just sell it. I think, I think the whole strategy, the whole strategy, uh, for free to play players is whenever you get something tradable, just sell them. And the best thing to sell will be in Muffer Stone. Muffer Stone, if you can get it, it's you, it's something that you want to sell. Okay, weapon fetches, where rare weapon and armor, like like this, it fetches quite a lot of good. The the price is quite expensive, so sometimes. I think for weapon, if you're able to buy a minimum price, will be will be about three thousand one hundred diamond or something like that, and probably you can sell them at four thousand something max price. So, if there's a weapon, all right, it's you can always buy that at the lowest price, which is three thousand one hundred, and you try to sell that at four thousand something. So, so that's a that's a thing. Some of the things that you can sell, and also like core boss core. I'm a, I I can't remember what's the price. So, but upgrade stones because the demand for upgrade stone is so high that you can you can sell them at max price. Probably you can sell them for two weeks, <coughs> and after two weeks the price it will just drop so much. So yeah, so anything that you are able to sell, you just try to sell. Just try to sell off everything that's tradable. You 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 won't regret it. Everything that's able to sell, you just try to sell them. Uh, but of course you will try to you will need to survey the market i think for upgrade stones you can sell, sell it at maximum price i think you can try to sell it at maximum price first huh? then see if anyone buys so like like if you notice like i have like six thousand four hundred blue diamond it's uh almost all of it are from trading uh, so basically basically i just buy i just farm stuff and, and i sell it so 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 that i can sustain my adina and things like that. so trading post is very important Especially if you are free to play players, because this is where you you have your your resources. Now you come and see like even even at currently like three months down the road, the what do you call the rare weapon they still sell they they still sell at a good price. Huh? So yeah, trading post is important. Now finally we come to the last to the last part of game. So here is where you can check your ranking your. Your ranking, your defense ranking, etc. Then your things. So any information here. So this is the part. So 
you share how uh, how do you uh, how do you use this will be uh, you try to monitor whether whether uh, what's your combat level and things like that and and also your levels uh, yeah and what's your what's your your levels and things like that. so this is uh, yeah so you can have a you you know like whether whether you are in the top 200 or something so you can have a rough idea so yeah all right i've been covering this for the last two hours and i'm quite certain that there are some information that i miss out so this will be the end of part three and and all there's a lot of details for this game and to summarize i think i think uh i think the best way for you to play this game i think if you, especially if you are free to play player the first thing that you want to buy is you want to get the daily uh the the monthly sorry the money red diamond package and also the monthly adina package and i will strongly recommend to you that if you can just move just have many alternative uh, alternate character as much as possible from day one and and if you can have like three characters on three different accounts all right that are farming con con consistently you will beat i mean you can i think if you are able to have a two moves account and your original account or two to three moves account you you should be able to uh get top 100 cp without any problem because you will have so many resources so what will happen is you will you will keep farming for tradable stones and things like that and with the blue diamonds that you have you can just transfer back to your main character and purchase a uh, rare equipment so the key of this game it seems like after 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 playing it for two and a half months is whoever that is able to move the most eventually will have the most resources so mooling is the key for this game and uh, yeah at the end is how you manage your afk how you manage your mooling and things like that so i was i strongly recommend you to 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 move from day one i think if you're able to move on day one i think you have a such a advantage all right thanks again uh basically i made this tutorial for you guys hope you guys are able to to spend less money at this game but have having a better achievement so and there are so many ways to waste resources and and please i think i think i think if you go through all three videos i think you you need to go through all three of this video because there's just so much details and you can't really like skip one of those huh? so hopefully hopefully you, when the games i mean when the server the game launch you're able to be the top of the server and maintain it use you using the move methods huh? all right currently i'm using nox uh you can use like nox uh blue stacks or memu or work fine huh? all right thanks for watching it's been two hours all right See you guys. All the best.